Thanks for tuning in for another week of right-wing lunacy. The usually calm, cool, insane MyPillow CEO, Mike Lindell, claims to be recruiting geeks while running his company on autopilot. Ronnie Jackson is pushing for Biden to resign, and Trump claims to have info on everyone. I, for right. one, will not sign a clean uh, bill raising the debt, the debt limit. Wow, MTG looking like she just crawled out of Laura Trump's makeup dumpster. The same person who thinks Jewish space lasers create wildfires also thinks she's the president. Members of Congress do not sign bills. Margarine Taco Gristle, this is not about new spending, okay? It's about the debt, eight trillion of which was created in just four years. That's 25% of the national debt because morons elected a guy who couldn't figure out how to make a casino profitable. Select all images with George Santos. Santos, 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 Santos. Verify. It is pouring MAGA tears. I have a laugh with Mike Lindell talking drones and dropping his dumpster fire plan to get more cyber experts on board for his latest Supreme Court complaint. Trump doctor turned politician Ronnie Jackson questions Biden's health. I check in with the latest and stupid from George Santos, Don Jr. Check to see if the socks stay on with Marjorie Taylor Greene and Alex in the bunker and more. The failed lawyer with a DUI and a Venmo account for partying with young girls tweeted... Thank you, Crestview Airspace, for a tour of your facility. We had a great discussion about their contributions to the military mission in our district and how they'll be contributing for years to come. Naturally, I replied, Teen Prowler McForehead must have been dying inside at an aerospace facility since the sight of any wings would trigger thoughts about the jailed wingman best friend he'll be joining in prison. that are willing to take office and knowing it was a cheat or a scam or a, um, a just pure evil to get in power. And those are the people that are gonna be running this new age technology when we're coming into places where, like over in Australia, where drones come down and tell you to go back in your house or go back in the perimeter. He's still trying to spread this idea that Australians live under some sort of drone rule. Also, perimeter, was he going for perimeter there? Tough to say, but I will say Australia has an incredible use for drones and they save lives because a drone can zip a flotation device a lot faster to a swimmer in trouble than a lifeguard can swim there. Like that is super cool. Although if we are talking shows about lifeguards, I would much rather have my after school viewing of Pamela Anderson running into the waves than a fellow with a joystick piloting a flying robot really high guys okay just like when the stuff is all lined up in front of our nostrils and we couldn't figure out how to get the straw in which created a supply chain crisis no problem doing paul stanley in a bon jovi wig she looks like george santos as kitara okay when i saw that f photo on uh, on twitter i was like hey Kimberly, get in here there's a picture of you guess what blown millions upon millions on hundreds of pounds of the white stuff be glass-eyed grow up be a knob. Anyone that has any cyber knowledge at all that can read it, like reading a, another language that can easily read Spanish. Uh, if you can read Spanish, you can read Spanish, right? If you can read Spanish, you can read Spanish, right? I love factual Mike Pillow. This is so great. I put it up there with his voter statement. They turned in They turned in their electors. They had more voters than votes in a places where it's against their, it's against their law. You can't turn in, you can't have more voters than votes. You can definitely have more voters than votes. And if more people voted, we could put the brakes on the right-wing clown car. Donald Trump's doctor has been on a tear making the rounds on the entertainment channel for Mary Cousins and Twitter trying to make a case for Biden to be removed from office. Biden needs a cognitive exam. He's not right. He's not fit to be president. Time for him to take the job he's most fit for as a Walmart greeter. Naturally, I replied, another ambient tweet from the tipsy doctor who pumped diaper Don full of pills between changing his depends and declaring him very smart and very intact. Your medical expertise is as reliable as a George Santos GoFundMe. Interpret it. Well, this stuff is going to be very easy to uh, interpret, very easy to uh, interpret, uh, interpret, and when it comes out, we want it so everyone, so the whole, they can't deny it, Brandon. You can't, there, no one's going to be able to go, no, that's not true. That didn't happen. And this isn't about, um, 
manipulation or flipping votes or anything. This shows intrusions into our country's election systems. I think we're always trying to interpret and extrapolate what Tom Selleck's slow cousin is saying. You need a translator for someone who's speaking English. He doesn't know anything about computers, and he can't speak Spanish, and when he tries to talk about interpreting something, he can't even get the word right. Walmart began phasing out greeters in 2019, but if former presidents did get the gig at Walmart, who would you rather see? Welcome to Walmart! No joke! You're in Walmart! I want you to feel welcome when you shop here! I'm serious! No malarkey! You are welcome to Walmart! You people are disgusting, just horrible. Go to my website, get an NFT. Well, and, uh, that's what I mean about the skills set of a CEO. You've got your your business on autopilot with your team in place. Everybody knows what to do and how to do it. That frees you up to be effective. You can do the same thing at the RNC. You put a competent, professional team in place. That place will run itself with quality yeah. people. Well, that's it doesn't, here's, here's one of the things. You know, you bring up a good point, Dan. Here's one of the things uh, how I do run my pillow. It's great when this guy is saying his business is on autopilot while Mike's lost millions of dollars and people are tweeting me photos of his stuff in the bargain bin, totally earning the name Bargain Bin Burt Reynolds. This is totally unfair. Why do you need a vet for your dog if you are a vet? I think George Santos was right to keep the money. This is really cool. Tell me, let's pretend this is another language here I wrote. And uh, it's Spanish. I can't read Spanish. And we get an interpreter, and they go, "Yep, here's what it says." Okay, think of that. Think of that. This cyber stuff in written in another language. So we're going to put this presentation together that any cyber guy that has any experience at all can go. Um, look at this. What do you think this is? Does it show that China intruded in our election and and got into our machines? Right? Broke uh, was uh, was an attack basically. They look at it. They go, "Yep, I concur." Boom. Sign here. Sign here. If they are a cyber expert, they'll be able to read the data. If you have to dumb it down for a cyber expert, he's not a cyber expert. He's just someone with a laptop and an iPhone. It's 2023. We're all cyber guys. And then we're going to take that all um, to the uh, the cases that we have, all the cases in the country, the lawfare cases. And then I want to get that to the Supreme Court. You could hand Mike Lindell the menu from P.F. Chang's and tell them that it's your secret info on all the voting stuff and he would cut you a check. Ronnie, I don't know what would be more embarrassing for Donald Trump, the P-tape or your unedited video of him fumbling through the mocha test. Camera, 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 hamburger TV. That was terrific, right, Randy? Let's move on. Some guys on there, you put some geeks on there, and you get, hey, you guys, look into this, see where it's sitting. You get a footprint of it, and then you get people in there, and you fix it. I told one guy at the RNC they have something called WinRed and Data Trust. Both of these things need to be looked into. They're both overpriced, I think. But I don't know. I want to do my due diligence to look into it. I would love to hear Lindell calling up his tech support and demanding to talk to a geek. The geeks Mike has been paying for his election cyber stuff are either terrible at what they do or they are actually fleecing him because it's not tough to fool the numbers guy who thinks there are 60 cards in a deck. Now, I know this word has kind of been reclaimed, but when I was growing up, I was regularly called a geek by the cool people at school. It wasn't a compliment. I need to get back on Facebook in time for my campaign and Ivanka's holiday because that's the best place to get her hot beach pictures. This is really cool. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie again. Good dude. It has been a crazy week. Some of my text messages with frozen TV dinner air, Tucker, Buckley, Swanson, Carlson have been released. They are out there in the wild. It's personal stuff, and I'm not happy about our things being exposed. But it's nothing compared to the thought of Joe Biden coming to take away every flame-fired oven on this flat earth. In fact, just despite Sleepy Joe, I've made Swanson frozen TV dinners every night in our gas stove that we are not giving up. 
I gotta admit, Tucker's family got pretty wealthy off some very average meals, but the upside is that we are owning the libs by having Tucker face heated with natural gas. Me and MTG agree that it's a, it's a bit like prison food. Now, we've not had prison food, but we've heard about it from Jason Bobert, Mike Lindell, Matt Gates, Wingman, and other upstanding citizens. Since the food has taken us down an entire jail rabbit hole, we've been doing it prison style. Oh, oh yeah. And MTG, she gobbled a lot of beans in those meals, so she has been savage with Dutch ovens. <laughs> and I assure you, I can handle the Green New Deal busting emissions coming from her lopsided wannabe CrossFit body. But when we are playing Bunker Shawshank at sundown, you need to protect this fake supplement and lunacy spreading clown by making sure that I'm not exposed to that fire marshal bill skin toasted walnut toad mess that looks like someone hurled a grenade in the dumpster behind P.F. Chang's and then had Ray Charles super glue the best together and stuff it into a value village flip-flop with more fungus than a mushroom factory. Then I will go bonsai mogwai on the Georgia gremlin because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. In a new post on Truth Social, Donald Trump claims, in all caps, that he has info on everyone. It was only weeks ago that Trump had dinner with Nick Fuentes, an ultra-maga white supremacist who brags about being anti-Semitic, and Trump distanced himself from the meal, claiming, Actually, I knew nothing about him. So do you have info on everyone, or just the info in the top-secret documents you refuse to return? Tommy, you look like a big old P. No girlfriend and a lot of time on your hands. Maga tears. Ha ha ha. Not. Maga tears. Stoled. Stoled. Pretty pathetic when the notation on your thumbnail indicates less than a grade two education. Yeah, let's all follow this guy. Maga tears. FJB and the Democrats. Maga now. Maga tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media and following me on mine. It costs you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics. So if you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or smash that super thanks button. And be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian, I've played in 35 countries, and have toured with Jim Jeffries for several years. I have three albums, you can stream them on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool, be kind, take care.